Hi, my name is Jonathan. My name is Alan. And I'm Josh. We are Group 12 and this is our robot. When thinking about the robot, the mindset we had was to design something simple but effective. In this video, we will discuss our design considerations and also the problems we encountered. The first part we designed was the base plate. This was quite simple as we just needed to accommodate all the parts such as the wheels, the arm and gripper and the expansion board. For the arm, we designed it to keep the gripper parallel to the ground. Only one servo was needed to raise and lower the arm. This kept the concept simple. We tested it with a cardboard model and then modeled it in SOLIDWORKS. The gripper was designed to fit the puck exactly. We decided to have one claw fixed, resulting in only one moving part, eliminating the need for a gear system. While initial testing proved that the arm and the gripper system was mechanically sound, the servo units supplied to us were incapable of lifting its weight. A more powerful servo was found and tests were conducted. Thereafter, the arm and the gripper functioned as planned. The only problem that we encountered was the size of the camera pan and tilt. It was larger than expected so we had to mount it to the side. We had to position it on the stand and also made sure it could see past the arm. The gearbox was originally constructed with a 344 to 1 ratio as we aimed for precision and torque. However, this was later found to be too slow and so was later reconfigured for a 38 to 1 gear ratio to increase speed per gear revolution. This has increased its speed considerably. The robot moves using motors equipped with shaft encoders for distance correction. Although there is a small degree of error that accumulates over long distances, this has been addressed by regularly realigning the robot against the arena walls using the ultrasonic unit. The algorithm we used for the competition was simple and consisted of five main code blocks. First is the initialization sequence. This includes reading the color sequence and obstacle detection. The robot reverses from the starting position and uses the camera to read all five colors in one go. The robot then turns around and pans, using the ultrasonic to detect the obstacle. A second and third round check is also done for the potential blind spots. The robot decides on the best path and stays on it for the rest of the algorithm. It heads towards the puck region on one of three predefined paths, left, center, or right. The camera is used to identify colors and will aim to center the robot on the puck required. Once in position, the robot will move forward and pick it up. A quick color check is done, wrong colored pucks are discarded. Once the correct color is confirmed, the robot heads to the construction zone following the same path it took to get there. The robot stacks the puck before returning to the starting position. This sequence will repeat another four times, aiming to stack all five pucks in the correct order. Although we are satisfied with the outcome of our project, our main issue was finishing within the time limit. To address this issue, when a wrong color is picked up, they could be placed into color groups. The robot will then have a pile of each color to choose from, saving a lot of time. Besides this, only minor changes need to be made, such as a centrally mounted camera to improve accuracy. We hope you like our robot, and thanks for watching.